Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back to another Thrift Store Thursday. So this past week I went to two thrift stores. The first time I went by myself, and the second time I took my daughters. And um, I'm going to show you one thing that my daughter Emily picked up for her room. The rest of the stuff is just mine. I just have a few things to share with you today because once again I didn't find a whole lot that really struck me. Um, but some of the things that I found are so cool and so unique. I am very excited about them. So, let's go ahead and jump right in. Alright, so I think I'm going to start with what Emily picked out. Now, we have been working on um, giving her room a makeover. We painted it, we got our new mattress, we got her some new bedding, that sort of thing. So we're slowly putting the room together. And she has been wanting a shelf because she collects vintage cameras, much like myself. And she's got quite a collection. She actually has more of them than I do, but she doesn't have anywhere really to display them. So she's been looking for a shelf to put them on. And we found one yesterday that she absolutely loved. At first I showed it to her and I didn't think she was going to like it because it's more my style than her style. But she's like, oh, that's so cool. I like that. So it'll be getting a makeover. But let me show you the shelf. Let's see which is the top. Here we go. Alright, so it was $6.99, and it's just your basic 70s shelf. Do you see that? It's got two shelves, and it's got a doll on the bottom to hang things. But she really liked this detailing right here, which I think is pretty cool, too. This side is just very simple. So she could probably fit, like, six cameras on here, which is pretty much her collection, I think, at the moment. So obviously she wants to repaint it. She has on her wall, she's got a dark... Um, gray color on her walls so I think she's gonna do oh my <laughs> I just fell over good thing it's sturdy okay so anyways I think she's probably gonna paint it white or give it a distressed look I'm not really sure what she's gonna do with it as of yet but that's kind of what she was talking about when we were walking through the store so I'm excited to get working on that for her because I love painting things so it's so much fun so anyways moving on the next thing I have found was something for Christmas. Um, the stores are just kind of starting to put out Christmas items in my area. So, you know, I have to look through it when I see it. And I found some really cute Christmas mugs. It, they look like this. I ended up getting five of them. I can't hold them all up, but there's five of them. And I just thought these were so cute because they are very old school looking to me with the holly branch and the little berries and I just think it is so cute. It has a design on both sides which I think is lovely. Now these were $1.99 each but when I went up to pay for them the lady at the checkout gave me all five of them for $1.99 which I thought was amazing. So that was pretty cool. So I'm excited to use these come um, Christmas time or even just all of December and into the winter just because I think they are so pretty. Um, I think these would be cute to um, like set up a little hot cocoa bar or something like that for the kids or myself. <laughs> but yeah, just have a little something festive. I've always wanted to do like a Christmas tea with like my friends and family, um, but I've never done it because Christmas time is so busy anyways. You don't really want to like try to cram in something more, but I think it would be so much fun to be able to do something like that and use these cups and all my other little vintage serving pieces that I love so much. But anyways, that's just a little side note. But anyway. <laughs> anyways, I thought these little cups were so adorable. If nothing else, arranging these on like a little tray with maybe like a little bottle brush tree and a few ornaments scattered around the tray, um, maybe some vintage spoons or something like that on a tray just set on the counter would be a super easy quick little decoration that you can use these with and it would look really nice in the kitchen or like in the dining room or something like that so I'm very excited about those cups so much or I guess they're mugs the mugs the Christmas mugs <laughs> anyways so the other thing that I found when I was shopping with my daughters is a little I don't know what you, how you would describe it other than it's like a shelf mirror. And I've never seen anything like this. To me it looks very art deco 
and I fell in love with it right away. I, do. I had hoped that I was going to find two of them, so Emily and I were digging through the shelves like crazy. I was hoping they were going to have two because I recently decided I'd like to have a little mirror on either side of my headboard above our bedside tables. I used to have mirrors there a really long time ago, and I just love the look of it. And I've tried other things, and I just don't like it. So that's kind of where I'm going. So now I've been on the lookout for a mirror. Well, I found one, but I didn't find two. So we'll keep looking. But anyways, back to what I found this time. This was a $4.99, and I am obsessed with it. Hopefully I can show you this without, like, blinding you, because it is a mirror. Can you see that? There's my camera. But it's like this little, has a little shelf on the bottom which is very decorative. Then it's got like this wreath, sort of, it reminds me of like a laurel wreath. Little uh, frame on the bottom part of the mirror, and then the top is uh, just open, and it's a circle mirror. I mean, how cute is this little guy? Oh, I just love him. I just think this is so cool. I mean, I've never ever seen anything like this before, and I am so excited about it. And I cannot wait. It, obviously, you all know me. This thing's going to get a makeover. But it is a very pretty color. But just, I don't know. I think it's going to get a makeover. Because I think I would love it even more. To be able to see the detailing on the wood in here would be really, really nice. And I think a little paint job would really bring that out. So, And this one, you don't even need to put anything on this. But this would be really cute if you just put like a single candle on it. Ugh. I wouldn't like to be gorgeous. Anyways, I'm obsessed, obsessed with this little mirror. So I'm very excited about that find. All right, so the very last thing that I found was at the thrift store that I went by myself to. And I don't know if you remember, but not long ago, I found a vintage camera, which I was completely in love with until I found this next item, which isn't a vintage camera, but it is a vintage video camera. I'm branching out just a little bit, and I just think it is so cool. So anyways, it came in this case like this, just a cute little case, and it is a Keystone Capri, it is called, and it looks like this. Isn't this cool? Oh my goodness, I am obsessed. It was $19.99, as you can see by the price tag, which I have not taken off. But it was 25% off day. So it ended up being like $16. At first I'm like, I'm not going to buy it because that seems really high for one single item at the thrift store and it's so tiny. But and I'm like, you know what, if I found this at a antique store or if I found it anywhere else or a flea market or anything like that, it would be way more than $16. So I talked myself into it and I'm so glad I did. But anyways, this thing is so cool. I love the two-tone. On top it's got like this leather insert and then the bottom it's like this grooved metal siding. The other side is the same and this side has the crank on it and look it even like still makes the noise. You want to listen? Oh no it's not. I gotta crank it up first. Alright so you crank it up. Ugh. And I put it in there and then listen to it. Isn't that awesome? So I have no idea if this thing works or not, but I'm thinking I may try to find. It does have some film in it, but I have no idea if that's even, and if it's any good at all at this point. And if it does work, what would I do with the film? But I think it would be very cool to figure out if I could actually use this thing. I think it is so cool. See the front? There's your viewfinder. And then this um, extends out. You can adjust it. I think it's so cool. And then this side has, what does it have? It says like hazy sun, cloudy. I think it's just a, a guide basically for your, your settings on the side. So yeah, I just don't know how to use it. I'm assuming that's what it is. Because if I turn this thing here, this whole side pops off and that's where the film is. So yeah, and then the other side you can see it's got the crank, and then this is the part that you hold down to actually take the video. And then on the back, it's very simple. It just has the little 
keyhole to look through and then it has this little strap. So, oh my goodness, I am so in love with this guy. He is so cool. I cannot wait to use him. I think I'm going to use him probably down in my family room because that's kind of where I use like my cameras and stuff like that as um, decor pieces pretty much throughout the whole year. So I'm going to set this up down there and I'm very excited about it. So I am loving this find. Alright, so that is it for me today. Not a very big haul, but some amazing, very unique items, which I am very excited to use in my home decor. So before I go today, I just want to thank you for stopping by, hanging out with me, and as always, let me know down in the comments what you found this past week at the thrift store, because I like to know those kind of things. It's kind of fun to hear what other people are looking for, or what they found, I just, I find it very fun. So if you can let me know, I would really appreciate it. So anyways, if you are new to my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I do a thrift store Thursday, every single Thursday. I also share a weekly family vlog along with DIYs, decorating, and whatever else I'm feeling like I want to share that week. So I try to keep things interesting here and I hope to see you again soon. To the rest of you, thank you so much for subscribing and coming back day after day to check out what I have been doing. It means a lot to me. And I will see you again very soon. Bye now.